Good morning, everyone. Anson here. Welcome to LCA Chess in San Francisco. Today is February 21st, and we are so glad you could come join us online. We have a couple of announcements today. Our Lenten devotional started this past Wednesday. If you haven't joined us yet, don't worry, it's not too late. Feel free to scan the QR code here, and may God's word guide you and encourage you in the season of Lent. Today is Survey Sunday. After our worship service today, we invite everyone, yes everyone, to join us for a quick online ministry assessment over Zoom from 11 to 11.30. Just scan the QR code to access the Zoom link. It will not take long, but it will definitely be easier to fill out together. Note, EM, Sunday School, and Kids Worship will not be meeting today. On Friday, March 12th, we will be hosting a special workshop via Zoom to discuss some COVID-19 vaccine myths versus facts with Dr. Tom Lee and our pastors. This workshop will be in English and will take place from 8 to 9.30 p.m. You better mark this one on your calendar because on Sunday, March 14th, we invite all LCHS members and attendees to join our yearly all-church meeting to gather for updates, finance reports, and voting items from 11 to 12.30. Kids worship and all Sunday school Zooms will not be meeting that day. Speaking of which, every Sunday leading up to our March 14th Voters Assembly, one pastoral staff will share their inspiration and vision for the coming months. DC Allen shared last week, and today, Pastor Chris will be sharing with us. Every once in a while, I'll go through my closet and pull out my favorite jacket. It's not because I found it at the store and bought it, but my life has been redeemed through it. It is where I see the grace of God and the love of all like the health professionals uh, who had saved my life in my car crash five years ago. They had to cut the jacket off me, but they gave it back to me when I left the hospital and I sewed it back up for myself. It's a reminder of God's faithfulness, and I think it gives me a perspective of how we can move forward as a church through this new year. Three things come to my mind when talks when I think about going through tough times is mindset, skill set, tool set. With mindset, we have to know that God is the above all things. He is gracious, He is almighty, He is everlasting, He is all loving. And when we follow this God, when we keep our eyes, when we have this mindset, you know, that God is above all things, then we're just more than just survivors. God is going to bring a wonderful life through each and every one of us according to his word and his spirit. And how do we grow in this mindset is we have to grow in his word together. And as we grow in his word, it is also shaped by our prayer as we take his words and we breathe it in and we breathe it out. And so we do need to grow in God's word and in prayer for this year. As we do that, then we recognize that we actually have a great skill set because the Holy Spirit, what does it say in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, is that the Holy Spirit gives gifts to all graciously so it can be shared with one another for our mutual good. So as we look at how to go through life for this year, not only are we thinking God is great and above all things, is that every person is valuable. And I invite you to grow in prayer for the people uh, whom you love in this congregation and for your family and friends, that as we grow, we're learning how to be a community once again. And as we grow, everyone is valuable. So it's not just the brave who are going to stand behind, a, um, stand here in front of a camera, and it's not those willing to stand behind the camera to run everything. It is we need everyone to be participating and sharing the gifts which God has given to them. The another thing in terms of skill set is that uh, there's a huge learning curve for all of us. You know, for some of us, we had to have countless uh, hours uh, to to of anxiety and, and losing sleep in order to put our best in front of the camera. And I could tell you that um, sooner or later, we're going to get tired. We're going to lose that spark and that joy. And we so much desire your prayer that God would keep us strong. But we also desire your participation so that we can do this wonderful ministry together. Not just putting online videos, but also as we get find safer ways to do in-person interactions too. Everyone has a gift from God. 
and it's something which uh, he said he's going to bring about. So as we discover that this year, I invite you to keep an open mind for our invitations. And if you see something which you can offer to this fa church family, let us know too. Mindset, skill set, and the last is tool set. We are designing new spaces for us. You now we have our Sunday worship, we have our Zoom fellowships, and we have our Bible studies, but we're going to create more online spaces for interaction. So we desire your participation in those areas. And we also are going to create, as time and safety allows, opportunities for more indoor interactions. And you don't have to wait until then. It could be as simple as you calling up a friend and arranging to meet either at a safe place, a recreational space to take a hike, or even meeting at a doorway for prayer and safe exchanging of baked treats. We have all these things uh, which are I'm excited about because it is the Lord bringing forth life through each and every one of us. I want to encourage you with a scripture reading which I shared with those of my brothers and sisters in Christ during the season of Lent is that in 1 Corinthians chapter, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, it says, we always bear about the death of Jesus in our bodies so that the life of Jesus may be shown in our bodies. We as Christians always have a dual perspective. One is that everything does lead to death. Everything one day will end because of our own sinfulness, but because of the life of Christ, because of his death, calling us to die to ourself, to our fears, uh, to our pride, to our sin. Then, as we face our death with hope and expectation in Jesus Christ, then his life will shine through us. And here's all the good stuff that we have been used to doing, to love as we've been loved, to forgive as we've been forgiven, to go and make disciples of all nations, to serve everybody, to clothe the naked and do good to all, to store treasures on uh, in heaven and to unite in love. All these things God come, empowers through us, through his word and through his spirit. So let's continue to grow together in this year. May God bless you. Amen. Good morning. Now we'll be praying for the following prayer seats. Please join me in prayer. Dear God, I just want to thank you for this time uh, where we can gather online on this beautiful Sunday to worship your holy name and to hear your word preached and to sing of your holy name. Lord, I just pray that your word sinks into our hearts this morning and that you hear our prayers. Um, Lord, I just pray that our church will be able to um, be faithful servants in spreading the good news and reaching people that haven't been reached yet and that people will be open to hearing your word and lord uh, also remind us to reach people in our church in our congregation that might be feeling lonely uh, that uh, we will be able to serve them well as as well so lord give us strength to do that give us strength to be motivated by uh, your word, your grace, to show grace to our neighbors and to our fellow um, congregation. Uh, Lord, also I just want to pray for the global church that churches be rooted in your word uh, to be motivated by Jesus Christ and what he has done on the cross and that the church will not be ashamed to profess you as savior Lord, uh, I just pray that uh, people tr continue to trust in you, Christians to continue to trust in your purpose in their lives during these times and uh, whatever difficulty that they might be going through, that your sovereignty will, um, will give them strength, God. Uh, and lastly, to help them be obedient to you by taking up their cross and to follow you, Jesus. Uh, Lord, also pray um, for the leaders in this church uh, to pray for the ministry uh, to pray for people who are serving you that even though their strength may run low that you continue to give them strength 
through your word that um, that you remind them that your yoke is light and that they should turn to you for strength and not to work on based on their own strength, but to rely on your grace and mercy and what you have done to give them the motivation to keep going and to persevere. And lastly, Lord, I just pray for all those who are affected by the snowstorm, uh, that you keep them safe, that you keep their families and friends safe. And Lord, I just pray that as utility workers are working around the clock to fix the power grids, that you give them the strength uh, to pull those long hours and to keep them safe as well from the cold. Uh, Lord, and it's also a great reminder that um, we don't control nature and the need for salvation and that life is vanity, that we need you, God. And let this be a brief reminder of how much we are not in control and that we need a savior like you, Jesus Christ. And just want to thank you for this time where we can pray, pray for our church, pray for the world. And Lord, just pray that you listen to our prayers and continue to be with us. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. From thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.